This is also the most important theorem, repeatedly asked a question from graph theory. So let's check this theorem here. The statement here is show that there is only one path between every pair of vertices in a tree. So there is only one path between every pair of vertices in a tree. And see, we have to prove this. See, in the proof, suppose that there are two paths between the vertices V1 and V2. Then the union of these two paths will contain a circuit. See here, I am showing you one graph here. This is V1, this is V2 and this is V3 and this is V4. See, if you consider these four, so this is a path. So, there is a single path here. There is only one path between each and every vertice. So, if I connect like this, so if I take another path here, so if I take another path here like this, so from V1 to V2, so this is one root. So, this is one root here and this is the second root. So, if I make an another path, then this is going to become a loop. So, if it is a loop and it can't be a tree. So, this is a logic which you have to find. Suppose that there are two paths. If there are two paths, what happens here between the vertices? So, between the vertices, see here, this is V1 and V3. Then, the union of these two paths will make a circuit. So, this is going to become a circuit. So, it cannot be a tree. So, when it cannot be a tree, if we take two paths, if we take a single path, then it's going to be a tree. So, if we take two paths, then it's going to form a circuit or a loop and which is not at all a tree. And hence, there is only one path. So, if you want to make a tree, there is only a one path between every pair of vertices in a tree tree. So, this is the example. If you give in, a, in the examination and this proof is enough for your solution. See here, show that there is only one path between every pair of vertices in a tree. So, if you take any tree, there is a sing if there is a single path, then it will become a tree. If you suppose take two paths between the vertices here, from V1 to V3, if I select another path here, if I connect another path here, then see it is going to become a circuit. If there is a circuit or a cycle or a loop, then it can never be a tree. So, if I am taking two paths, then it cannot be a tree. So, we need a tree and so we need only one path. Hence, there is only one path between every pair of vertices in a tree. And this proof is enough for the given statement that there is only one path between every pair of vertices in a tree. And thank you so much for watching. If you really like this proof, please pass it on to your friends. Please practice and please score more. Thank you so much.